I'm here with Sophie from CFC Fan TV. It's ended here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea won, Liverpool won. Yeah. How do you feel? Well, it's actually very nice to be interviewed for once rather than being the person that interviews. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? I quite, I quite like this, so I feel a little bit less pressure. No, do you know what? A lot of, a lot of us fans feel like that was a defeat. So. I, if we'd just been able to hold on for the last 10 minutes, it would have been fantastic. It wasn't to be. They did score a good goal. I haven't seen the replay yet, so I don't know who was at fault um, or if it was unstoppable. But for the majority of that game, and I have to be completely honest and not biased, I did think that we were the better team. I thought we defended so well. I think Salah couldn't... Oh, you could see in Salah's face, I was like sat in the shirt up and you could see he was getting very frustrated with the fact that he wasn't getting the ball enough. He was getting the ball taken off of him. I think Hazard even did a very good job of just... Not just running around players like he does, like he did midweek. But, but do you think that was the best pro approach to take because I thought you had them on the ropes at one point in the first half do you think you should have gone for the juggle in the second half a bit more um f not really the thing is that we have we do have few we have Pedro injured um which is a little bit tough on our team because he has been very instrumental in some of our games this season especially coming on as a sub he's managed to get a couple of a few goals and he's, he's been very good and he's a very very fast player but when, when Shakiri come on I knew I was a little bit worried because I saw him play midweek and there's no way when you've got him coming on halfway through the game when our players are very tired um, that it's, well, it's going to be very difficult to hold on. So I thought our goal was fantastic. Eden Hazard again, of course. He is just world class. He is by far one of the best players in the world. And for me, the best player in the Premier League alongside Kante. Um, <laughs> you love Angolo Kante. I do, I do love Kante. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Uh, but now, you know what? I thought we defended so well today. And uh, pundits on TV, I always you know watch the reviews on Sundays and just overall during the week. And they're very, very critical of our defence. Now, I just want to say, like, I don't see why we've just beaten and drawn against potentially the best team in the league alongside Man City. So I think Rudiger. I think Rudiger has come into his own recently. Fantastic. And him and David Luiz are uh, performing a really, really nice partnership together now. I've been very critical of David Luiz that we just give him man of the match today. Um, you know, kick the ball off the line. That would have been another goal. We may not have won it if, if he hadn't been there. So I thought he was brilliant today. I thought his leadership, I thought him getting the, the crowd up and going, you know, asking us to stand on our feet, get us clapping. So you can see, I know, I know the players will be really gutted that we couldn't hold on there. But nevertheless, before the start of the game, if they'd had asked would we take a draw a lot of fans would have said yes although we've so wanted to win today so do you think you can win the Premier or do you think you can challenge for the Premier League along with City obviously well I wouldn't say obviously but Liverpool their title contenders which I'm not happy about but anyway I but mean, today was a massive test and I think we didn't lose we're still unbeaten we haven't lost against them so if we'd have lost even by one goal I would have said okay you know this probably is a little bit of the difference in the teams but there is no difference in us at the moment we've beaten their B team although we had a B team out as well um, midweek and we've again drawn against them and we've actually with a much better team for the first 80 minutes of this game so or first 70 minutes anyway it's funny you said it because I was down at the um, the West Ham game, yeah. and a lot of your Chelsea, yeah, a lot of your Chelsea fans were a bit, a bit upset, a bit downhearted. Yeah, of course. But we we had Rudiger go off. We had that was always going to be a tough game. We never do well at the Olympic Park. So to get a draw out of that, a nil nil, and don't forget West Ham had just picked up form against Everton. They were obviously on a bit of a high, uh, and then they went and beat Mac Mac Macclesfield what eight nil the other day. And again, they've they've beaten United today. So I mean, they're, they're obviously on a bit of a run. And for me, that wasn't the worst result in the world. It wasn't a good one, but it wasn't the worst. So I think, you know, Man City dropped points against Wolverhampton, although they're. A, turning out to be a good side with their investment I'd say we've, we've, we've got the upper hand so far now finally obviously Sturridge scored that you know spectacular equaliser <laughs> I mean obviously was you disappointed that you know that that went in or, or are you just content with the actual performance and the res and, and the result in, in the grand scheme of things fans are mad today because we played so well and to not to get the win we feel like we should have won that game um, if it was a very even game we got a draw you wouldn't be seeing the same reaction we'd all be coming out saying yeah you know I think that was fair but we're gutted because we did play some fantastic football today and we actually outclassed Liverpool in many areas of the field especially for the first half so it is a little bit gutting but it's a point and um, I think we can win the league this season I'm not getting ahead of myself and saying yeah yeah, definitely well, I think we've got as much of a chance as the other two brilliant that's fantastic and that was Sophie from CFC Fan TV subscribe to her channel you're done though we're out